All right, guys, automatic garage back today with this 2013 2500 Ram with a 6.7 Cummins in it. We're doing a transmission service on it. And while we're doing it, the customer wanted us to uh, upgrade his thermal bypass valve here on the side of the transmission. So we're going to show you what we're going to replace it with here and get this one pulled off. We just hit 200,000 miles, so we're doing a 200,000 mile service. We're changing front and rear diff, uh, transfer case fluid. We're changing the transmission filter and doing a uh, just a service on it as far as changing the fluid in the pan. And we're going to get rid of this thermal bypass valve, the factory one. We're going with a BD diesel which does not have a valve in it. It will allow the fluid to constantly flow through the transmission cooler at all times and doesn't have the risk of the valve getting stuck like can happen on these. Um, the only purpose in that is, is, is it gets the transmission up to operating temp faster because it doesn't let the fluid flow through it when it's at a cooler temp. Um, but it can also get stuck, cause your transmission to run hotter, especially when you're towing. So we're gonna get this one pulled off and throw this BD diesel on here. Hey Brian, what size wrench are you using there? You got a 20 millimeter on the hard line. And you want to hold this valve for two people so you don't twist your lines all up like that. We got both of those loose on the back side. Hey Brian, what you undoing? Taking the 13 millimeter off. Out of that bracket, the bracket there. That holds it. All right, so on your front two lines, you have your little quick connects down in there in that groove. Brian's got him a 90 degree pick. He's just gonna work them out of the groove and pop that off so we can slide the quick connect lines out. Because the uh, the BD diesel has the quick connects in it already. There's the other one coming out. I'm gonna bust it without making it fly. There you go. Once you got your tabs loose, you're just gonna work it off just like that. And there's your valve off. And you are gonna get a significant amount of fluid out of these lines. All right, so here's our BD thermal bypass valve here. These are just in finger tight right now. I put those in. So it's gonna go on the truck just like that. It came with new Viton O-rings for the hard lines that go in this end here. I would recommend just replacing them regardless of whether yours are in good shape or not. So uh, let me get those O-rings put on and then we'll get to mounting this thing up and have this truck back and going. So this literally is probably one of the easiest mods you could do to this truck. So it's just as simple as putting those fittings in this side, tighten them up, slide them on your quick and coupling, make sure you lubricate the O-rings in there before you do it. Slide your plastic collars back on. Now we're just gonna put this up here in place. We got our new Viton O-rings on there and lubed up with transmission oil. We're gonna uh, put those in there and tighten them up put the bracket back on there. And now you know for 100% for sure that all your transmission fluid is gonna be flowing through the cooler and getting cooled. And you're not ever gonna have a bypass valve getting stuck or restricting fluid flow to your cooler. So I'm gonna get this up here, get these tightened up and uh, we'll have this thing back and going. All right, so there it is. Nice and pretty, all tightened up. There are torque specs in their directions. I will let y'all follow their torque specs. Um, this is aluminum is what I will say. So follow the torque specs, don't overdo it you got aluminum threads here just like with the factory one and you don't want to start stripping out aluminum threads so now we're going to fill our transmission up with fluid get it up to operating temp check it and uh the next time he pulls his boat i'm willing to bet he's going to be much happier with his transmission temp